long as I can remember, since, since an infant, uh, my, my grandfather was a guitar player. And I remember him s sitting at the kitchen table, you know, playing an old Gibson or an old K or uh, just old country songs that he used to make up, and I was fascinated by it. I used to sit and watch him, you know, just as, as long, far long ago as I can remember. And he gave me like a, a little hand-me-down Les Paul copy guitar, and um, I would just kind of noodle around on it. But what really uh, made me just, you know, just obsessed and lock myself away in a room for like 10, 12 hours a day was when I heard uh, Crazy Train. Just that simple, like four or five note opening riff of Crazy Train. It just something clicked in my brain and I just had to, you know, learn how to do that and make my guitar sound like that. So I basically just would lock myself in a room for literally 10, 12 hours a day for years. And then uh, from Randy, it, you know, I really got into Tony Iommi, Black Sabbath, and uh, Shanker. I was I was real into Malmsteen for a, for for a little while, and, um, and as I got a little older, a little more experienced, I, I really started getting into um, the blues side of things. Stevie Ray Vaughan, Hendrix, you know, Albert Collins, um, Albert Albert Lee, a lot, a lot of the chicken picking country guys, stuff like that. I started uh, inf kind of getting that influence in my playing. So, you know, that's pretty much the, the guys that that made me want to.